Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 With a smile. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. 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 Let us continue praising. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we worship you. We praise you, Lord. Lord, as we are gathered in your presence, Lord, let your presence be here. Lord, touch our hearts, Lord Jesus. Lord, as we praise you and worship you, take away every heart, iniquities, Lord. We praise you and worship you for everything you have done in our life. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you. Hallelujah. God loves all of us, isn't it? Yes? So let us wish each other and say, God loves you. So as we begin the praise and worship session, let us reflect on the love of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What is uh, the characteristics of uh, love of God? First of all, the love of God is uninfluenced. We cannot influence God to love us or not to love us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As in Deuteronomy 7, 7 to 8 says, The Lord did not set his aff affection on you and chose you because you were more numerous than other people's. For you were the fewest of all peoples. But it was because the Lord loved you and kept the oath he swore to your ancestors that he brought you out, of, out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the land of slavery, from the power of the Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So it is not because of uh, Israelites were already very strong and uh, very rich or something that God uh, poured out his love upon them. Or it was not that they were a huge number and so he gave the authority to them. But they were few. They were weak people. So God in his own, uh, own uh, graciousness, he gave the authority to Israel to lead the entire world. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the second characteristics of uh, God's love is the love of God is eternal. Do we believe that? Yes. yes? So Ephesians 1, 4 to 5 declares, For he chose us, in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight in love he predestined us for adoption to sonship through jesus christ in accordance with his pleasure and will praise the lord praise hallelujah. hallelujah hallelujah so he chose us before the time and space was created so uh, god's love to, for us is eternal praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah. hallelujah the third one the love of god is sovereign so there is no authority over God to either love us or hate us. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. The Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalms 115 verse 3 says, Our God is in heaven and he does as he pleases. So whatever he wants to do it, he will do it. So love, he wants to love us today. He wants to give us everything what we need. It's not that God doesn't love us. Whatever circumstance we are, God loves us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 And the fourth one is the God. Uh, love of God is infinite. Is it limited? It is unlimited. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 says, for, uh, Paul says, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, or anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God loves us infinitely. There's no boundary of love for God towards us. Praise the Lord. Praise so today let us dwell upon this. If you feel that you are not loved by anyone, make sure you are confirmed that God loves you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The more people hate you, the more God loves you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let us lift our hands again and worship this wonderful God who pours out his infinite love and mercy towards us. Loudly, let us praise. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we believe that you are God amongst us, pouring out your love upon us, Lord Jesus. You are giving us everything what we need, Lord Jesus, for the living, Lord Jesus. To that you are showing your love towards us, Lord, we believe, Lord, speak in your own words and praise him and worship him. Lord, as we have seen in our past, Lord Jesus, that you have given us everything what we required. You protected us from every evil and danger and harm, Lord Jesus. 
Lord, we believe, Lord, that is your love and mercy which envelops us, Lord. Praise the Lord. We praise you for everything you have done, us, Lord, done towards us, Lord Jesus. You have given the Holy Spirit, our Father, you have given Jesus and the Holy Spirit for us. We praise you and glorify you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lift your voices, lift your voices. Let the love of God be poured upon you, all of you, right now, as we praise you and glorify him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we praise you, we glorify you. Lord, let your presence be here. Lord, let your anointing flow upon all of us, Lord, as we worship you. We praise you and glorify you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The fifth point is God's love is holy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Since God is holy, his love is also holy. So we also have to be holy so that God, love, God's love will pour upon us. And the fifth, sixth one is the love of God is gracious. So he gives infinite love through his son, Jesus Christ. He graciously poured, uh, sent his son without hesitation to die upon the cross for our sins. Right? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we praise, let us lift uh, at least our uh, one hand. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 God has given us strong hands. So let us lift our hands when we praise. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus died on the cross with raised hands and he was on the cross for three hours there. So uh, do not hesitate to lift your hands. God has given us beautiful, strong hands. Right? Everyone has strong hands? Yes. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise so the let Lord. us lift our hands and praise again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank hallelujah, you, Lord. Hallelujah, praise you, Jesus. Praise you, my God, my King. We thank you and praise you, Lord, for everything you have done in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. So whenever I reflect upon my own life, I see the hand of God in everything what he has done in my life. So I'm standing here, that is itself a great miracle, right? Uh, I am not a, like a public a trained public speaker or something like that, but he chose me of my uh, weakness and made me stand here. So many things he has done in my life. How many times I've lost my job and he has given a job miraculously without me applying for the jobs, jobs as well. And uh, so many times, and which I'm not eligible for those jobs as well, God has uh, given me those jobs. So many times I've fallen sick. Last time I was uh, down with uh, uh, tonsillitis and I was not able to speak even. And I was not able to eat. When I was, came here for the healing session, I was, I was not about to come on that day. But uh, my wife said, go, you'll be healed. So I came here and was touched and completely healed on that day. And even though I was going through a lot of medication and it was not helping out at all. But when I came here, God touched me and healed me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Recent, uh, there were rains and floods. So many people went through a lot of difficulties. But God helped me in, and my family in many ways. Yeah, we were like in the Noah's Ark. It was like water everywhere. And it was above our base. We couldn't go out. But miraculously, God had uh, anointed us to bring things a uh, week before. Uh, and uh, lo all the food, what we required, the things what we required, we had already purchased, even, uh, even though we didn't know that it was going to be so severe. And we had uh, enough food uh, even to share with uh, our neighbors. And uh, miraculously, drinking water. Every, a lot of people uh, had uh, shortage of water, drinking water as well. So um, what happened is, normally the water person comes on Thursday to give us the bottles. But uh, due to uh, the Eid holidays and all that, then he came on Saturday so uh, the water was enough for the next week during the rains so we didn't have any uh, you know, we didn't have any lack of food or water anything so I praise God for taking care of us during this time I, I believe you also have uh, similar uh, uh, testimonies praise the Lord praise the Lord hallelujah hallelujah so in the same way God loves, uh, loves us all till the uh, last breath and even after that let us believe that and lift our hands and praise God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord, we praise you, Lord, for everything you have done in our lives, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the word you are going to preach right now, Lord Jesus, to us. We praise you, Lord, that you are going to set us free from every difficulties and bondages, Lord. Lord, even though we are not loved by human beings, you love us more than everything, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord, we praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let us sing this beautiful hymn and uh, let us rejoice in the love of God. All let's all clap and rejoice. Now that I've tasted 
your love. My heart just can't get enough. Jesus, you had me. So We can make in the Bible from the book of Genesis till the end how the word that is addressed. See, I am there amidst you, I am there in your mouth, in your mind, in your heart. Okay, when we reflect the word of God, is there everywhere in our expressions, in all our expressions? So, about the life giving words, we always eagerly wait for the Lord to come and fill our hearts. We always reflect the word of God, always when I say. A good number of time that we utilize um, the day. Each day goes with a busy schedule. In spite of that, so many of you gather here in this late evening. It's for what? It's because of the thirst that you have for the word of God. Because it's not ordinary word, it is life-giving word. Okay. Yes or no? All right, yes. But still, I could not hear from every one of you. Yes or no? Yes. Thank you. And so, dear friends, we receive the word of God as a life-giving word. The, the, the word that gives us life, it nourishes us, it leads us into a pastures land and everything. And the word of human beings, you know that in the ministry, as Jesus said, yes, now, as I have washed the feet of one another, I ask you also to go and do likewise. Which means, now the word that I had sown, the seed that I have sown in your hearts will grow and multiply in you. Go and do likewise. When you do what I did, when you do washing the, the feet of one another, and when you take my word, trusting in my word, when you go amidst, I am there in your mouth, in your word. And then you will reap the good harvest was the message the Lord said. We read the word of God. We pray. Many times it is the, the negative elements that distorts us, makes the word of God weakening. We may wonder, how come it is a word of God? So when the human word you know, distorts the human mind, so whether the human word is more powerful than the word of God. Do you have a doubt on it? Interrupt silence. <laughs> Which means, do you agree? 
see the word of god say for instance the seed is so good and it's a it has a potency to sprout when you just put it on the ground it to sprout and to yield much harvest you throw seed on the ground will it sprout and become a big tree and uh, produce good harvest what all things needed all that is needed for the nourishment right you have to water it you have to weed it and you have to take care of uh, everything of it so that with your care and concern the weeds will not grow taller than this ordinary the proper seed all that we know that so the sower seeds the parable of sower seed is here for you when you don't do it all the other things elements will come up and then get the same way and the sower seed you know that the seed that is sown on the good soil on the rocky soil and then on the thorny bush all that you know i don't want to repeat it in the same way the word of god that is sown in our minds and hearts when we do not take care of it when we do not properly you know have the catching of it within our minds and hearts it can be possibility our own word the human words or the devilish things that can just come and distort as our minds and hearts don't do it don't reflect on the word which means don't pour water eh? do not take care of it let it grow by itself this is the way the devil says each word we need to be careful the human word that comes from the mouth is from the heart a human word but the word of god that enters through our mouth enters through our minds and hearts it will yield much fruit now just concrete examples few examples i A patient goes to the doctor, maybe for the first time, goes to the doctor. And the doctor examines and checks and then says, um, My dear man, you know, you picked up some sickness. You have to take a tablet, medicine. And you have to consume this medicine, as I said, till I tell you, you have to continue. But the man was shocked. Until then he felt he was okay and the man was shocked. Oh, doctor, what is this? Oh, you mean that I have to take, consume this tablet till my death? You see the word? So, since now I became sick and you are suggesting this tablet, that I should continue to consume this tablet till my death. The doctor says, I am not telling you to consume this tablet continuously till your death. But I am telling you, till you are alive, you have to continue to take this tablet. What is the difference between these two? You see the, the same word, one way it is negative, the other way it is a positive. Death can be tonight, within two, twelve hours. Death can be up to thirty, uh, thirty years. So the negative mind will not allow you to go for 30 years. That will say, oh, you have till death. When will I die? How many days? How long is it? What is my duration of my life here on earth? I don't know. I have to continue to take tablet. That kills you. The negative mind thoughts kills you. Take your life at the earliest. But you see, positively thinking about it, till you are alive, take these tablets. You do not do it. It is not in my hand. It is not in your hand. The life is not in your hand. But see, the positive thinking is to take you along. If this is a case with a human word, think about the word of God that is alive in us when we consume the word of God. Now, and another example I just tell you, a man was just climbing the mountain uh, with a little weight in his uh, a backpack with his uh, a luggage. As he was mounting and mounting, you know that few steps to climb with a little luggage. Maybe people after 40, after 50, you know that how difficult it is and then you, you will be you know, gasping and panting as you just keep climbing. Yes or no? Okay. Because I want to know whether you had experience or not. Okay. So, as he was climbing the mountain, When he went on and on, he felt 
uh, terrible it was because the more he had been climbing the weight was pulling him down and he got tired his legs were paining he could not proceed further little further he saw another girl the teenage girl carrying a baby which means some 2 years or 3 years old baby carrying the baby was joyful singing and joyfully just going climbing up this man called him hello little daughter can i please just come and then she came see i am finding difficulty with a little luck but you know with a baby you are just climbing up and joyfully you are going don't you feel tired don't you be you feel heavy and the girl said yes my brother you are carrying a luggage which has no life but i am carrying my own brother who is full of life and i have to take a most care when i think of my little brother i don't feel the tiredness even though i feel the heaviness of it but this is what the lord finds in each and every one of us the lord does not find some heavy burdens are tired when he carries all of us together yes or no yes but even little weight even just a little weight of say 5 grams weight as you keep on carrying walking along in course of time you feel tired you feel that you are carrying a heavy load in you this is is the negative element of our mind and so the lord invites us yes come and taste you will see the kingdom values how important it is and you will see how precious you are see for instance psalm 139 verses 23 and 24 search me lord and know my heart and thoughts it goes on and on lead me in the way everlasting search me lord and find my heart and thought and as you inherit you come into my heart the life grows everlasting in me I do not bother about how long but because I have surrendered myself in my search and when you search when I find you and you find me the life keeps going everlasting life that I taste I do remember once I too went to the doctor you know that when we go to the doctor first of they will not examine and check whether what kind of sickness I don't know whether doctor or nurses are there it is not applicable to every one of you but it is a reality in fact nowadays this also has become a kind of another sediment a kind of business to give but i myself had my own experience you cannot deny it so when you approach the doctor go to the doctor first whether the doctor takes may not be in all the hospital may not be the case with all the doctors and nurses it it becomes i i may not have time but you may know to the certain extent how this also is made Uh, economy okay go to the doctor first the first step is to find out where you are from and how heavy you are <laughs> so this background accordingly the test will continue these things are also there okay and uh, the the blood test was taken once nurse came so i had some symptoms i asked the nurse can you help me but well, don't worry i'll come and attend your mass after the mass but you have this 12 hours 12 or 10 hours of fasting uh, you just be waiting for me after the mass i'll come and take your blood and then he had taken a sample with the blood went to the hospital by 10 o'clock he calls me and say a father sorry i have a bad news for you just imagine <laughs> the blood was given what the bad news can be to any extent okay the lord will take you away from <laughs> this evening itself maybe one night or one day see the i have a bad news for you i was really shocked and then can you please tell me what it is father you have a cholesterol <laughs> <laughs> so bad news can be anything cholesterol up to 40 if you check most of us will have cholesterol it is you know as we grow and the growth process things can happen see the word the same word the person also the nurse also could have told him father you have a good news what is a good news uh, you see the, the symptoms are shown so that you are taking care of your health it can be the positive way <laughs> so really 
to tell you negatively this express you have a bad news i was finding difficult even to just even to digest oh my god i thought it was so it is a bad news for me really it was haunting and haunting you know for me days and nights for the first time oh my god once i get a cholesterol i can never get rid of it is you know i have to live with it it is for for the rest of my life i don't know how it will lead to later on to heart attack or it will to lead to uh, uh, you know a cardiac arrest you can imagine to any extent one word that is expressed negatively you see that this is where when we reflect the word of god and the lord says yes i take my words my word will be a life giving word i came amidst you so that you will live long and each of god's word is life giving word that it nourishes us to prolong our life and to live a meaningful life but the human word sometimes even one or two words when you suggest when you express or never of yourself or purposely this is what happens sometimes when people are prejudiced with the other even words with a curse sometimes you know you did this god will punish you yeah god will punish you is it the case that god is in your pocket whatever you say god will do it but see the negativity so the power of positive thinking god has given us when we read and reflect the word of god the same way we have to produce also the positive energy on others this is what the lord as you receive the life from me you give back to the father as you as i have washed the feet of one another to likewise the same way as i give my word that is life giving word the same way you reflect through your word and deed to other people so that others also will experience and taste the presence of the lord in you and the, the book of deuteronomy chapter 6 verses 6 and 7 it's again to the family you shall the, the parents you shall teach your children diligently and the words that you teach what you learn from me when you teach your children it goes on and on and then when you reflect your word day and night when you sleep when you rest all the time be sure there are people who say father you know that last night i could not sleep i had a dream i would like to tell you about the dream can you explain to me what it means yeah the, the whole day from morning till uh, late night you go to bed how your mind worked what did you reflect you know the devices we you know uh, the little children i know in good number of families the little children they allow the children to be at home giving these devices but they have the number lock so that they will not enter to different uh, sites so the num- number lock is there only particular sites which will help will be conducive will be will be helping the children to grow even the little ones the parents go for a purchase or whatever it is after few hours when they come back the number lock is open <laughs> the children are so shocked number lock is open at then okay and the devices whatever that you enter into read the daily news take any newspaper and maybe 10 pages out of 10 pages or in one page you see how many words are there and how many words are encouraging words will help us in our growth negativity is in- infused into it then mostly and then we cannot escape the only way to escape is that's what the lord says yes you may have 101 thousands of words to reflect but as you reflect my word my word will remain in your heart as i come to you as i remain in you and you remain in me you have long life is a message and to the word of god to extend even the human beings we can imagine oh my god i can't even think of one example i tell you anna in the very life of anna anna in the old age when she prayed even though she did not have the courage she did not believe that she will be consumed Ah, sorry, she will be conceived. And imagine the prayer time go to the extent of doing wonders in her life. And she was conceived and born a son. You know that seed, particular seed, created wonders. Created wonders. Through her, through her son, who is that? Samuel. The Lord did mighty wonders. One word. And her prayer, her approach towards the word of God, 
faith in the word of God. And the word as a seed entered into her and created wonders in her life. So dear brothers and sisters, as we are gathering in the name of God, reflecting on the word of God, remember the Lord tells us always when you are expressing, when you express, share or pray or uh, relate with one another in our expressions, be careful of each of your word. The word can kill others like a double-edged sword and the word also can give life to the other people. Okay. Proverb 4, chapter 4, verse 23. Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it, for from it will flow the springs of life. Like uh, the, the streams that we find, the river, the water keeps flowing. As you are standing on the bank on either side, in one side of the bank of the river, you see the, the, the noise that is made makes you feel that the river has a life. And in the same way, you feel when the word enters into your heart, with a trusting manner when you receive the word of God, yes, you feel the life, the full of life, the human life is a meaningful life. And we can quote Proverbs 5, chapter 5, chapter 6, in all that how the word of God has done wonders in the very human lives of the people. So the words, when we express, we have to, Realize whether the words that we express are true or false promises. So in Paul's letter to Philippians, chapter 4, verse 8, to think on things that are true, to think the things that are honorable, just, pure, lovely, and commendable, and the rest. Yes, think of the word that does everything, leads you to be truthful. <clears throat> Another example I would like to say, the Gospel of Luke chapter 1 verse 26 to 20, 38. And there the Mother Mary's response to the call of God. One word when she said, yes, yes Lord. And you know what happened in her life. Even there, a virgin cow is able to say one word, yes Lord. Which means in her yes, faith in the word of God. The word of God that nourished her and made her to be the way a media for the entire human society to be drawn towards God. So the word became flesh. And then she was conceived. The special grace was given to her. It's her faith approach towards the word of God. Yes, you received good news. Like I received a bad news when I, when I got the blood test. Mother Mary received the good news. Yes, here comes the good news to you. You will be conceived and bear a son and he will be the light of the world. That happened to Mother Mary and to her, to the entire, and to you and to me. The word that is conceived, when we conceive in our minds, hearts and thoughts, the word of God, we become enlightened, we become light for others. So as we are reflecting about the word of God as life-giving, source for every one of us. We also as children of God are to express words which may give life in others. The more that we reflect negatively, not the positive energy, but the negative energy before we pass on to others, already we, it is in the thought process within ourselves. So the destruction, the, we destroy ourselves first then destroying somebody else through the negative elements. Also let us pray dear friends, Always when we approach the word of God, which is so positive, giving positive energy to us, we also become positive towards others and they see the light of God in us. With this short reflection, I would like to wind up. I understand I will say a prayer. Gracious Lord, we praise and thank you for this evening. You have given this opportunity for us to come together and to reflect your word, the words that are life-giving words. It makes us a meaningful life in each and every one of us as we allow the word of God to work in us. Yes, Lord, many a times we have expressed the words which were not the positive one, but many a times with the negative elements which also affect us and affect others. It brings decadence in our relationship. Yes, we are meant to relate with one another. 
and taste your love when we gather in your name. May two or three gathered in your name be our experiencing our effective presence. As your children are gathered in here with enthusiasm to listen to your word, be with them, Lord, and bless them. Strengthen them. May your word as seed dwell in their minds and hearts. Thus they become, in a multifurious way, your powerful, effective persons to commune with one another through the relationship to redeem our lives. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. See you later. This is a time give your heart to Jesus. Jesus hears our prayers. I remember one incident happened a few years back. One Sri Lankan housemaid had come to the bay, and she called me one day. Someone gave my number to her on the phone. She called me from Dubai. I was in the office that time, and she said, "Brother, I have a problem." I said, "What is the problem?" She was in distress. She said, "Brother, I've just come to this country. I'm working as a housemaid. I've just finished a month, and I'm getting a terrible pain in my stomach. So I went to the doctor, and doctor said, and when they did the scanning and biopsy, and they told me that I have cancer." I am very young. I have no one in this country. My brothers and sisters, it really broke my heart. Imagine a young girl who has come to this country, just new, don't know anything, just joined a job to send money to the family. You know, it's so painful to hear this of cancer. Doctor detected cancer, and uh, I may have to go back. I met. She was. Very distressful. I gave her the faith and the strength. I said, "For Jesus, nothing is impossible." When you cry out to the Lord, you know He will heal you, because God is so merciful and compassionate. One touch of His can heal you. The Father was telling about the negative words and positive words today. I always speak. very positive words to the people to encourage even though they are on the verge of death because i visit a lot of hospitals and pray for people on the verge of death also but i will not speak they are going to die but i'll say they're going to live in jesus name hallelujah hallelujah so my brothers and sisters i told her do not worry god will do something a miraculous and wonderful for you do not fear then i prayed in tongues over that young girl but with tears in my eyes because i really felt for that girl imagining my state if i am in this state i'm new to this country i have no one around to share my pain i have no money nothing and here in this state think about myself i lifted my eyes to the lord cried out and i started praying Tongues, praising God, praising God, my brothers and sisters. And I did not know much about her, where she's staying, and anything. Only on the phone I was praying for her. But after a week, I got a call, and she said she was sounding so happy now. It was not like that time she called me. She was very distressful. But I said, what happened? What did the doctor say? Was something happened? She said, "Brother, the doctor said, now there is no cancer for me." Hallelujah! All glory to Jesus. My brothers and sisters, I have come across such how many cases in my life, even very 
even people call me some ladies have called me on the verge of their they were the baby were about to you know they were about to lose the baby such state they have called me on the hospitals and i have seen miracles my brothers and sisters and god restored those babies and they have showed me that babies have become big babies now girls now <laughs> praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah hundreds and thousands and thousands of miracles i've seen in my life through this jesus you know he can do anything for you don't lose your hope don't lose your faith you may be having any problem maybe financial problem or a job related problem the only thing is you have to do as the lord says psalm 28 ask of me and i shall give you the nations as your inheritance and the ends of the earth as your possession hallelujah, hallelujah. ask of me you have to ask god you have to spend time with god without that you cannot expect things my brothers and sisters so that's why james 4:2 says you have not because you ask not that's where the problem is you have not because you ask not jm fort so my brothers and sisters today is the day to ask and the matthew 7:7 says that ask and you shall receive no condition be opened unto you seek and you shall find if a child asks for a fish will a father give him a snake if a child asks for a bread will a father give him a stone evil as you are you know how to give good things to your children how much my heavenly father gives to those who ask him his holy spirit hallelujah my brothers and sisters holy spirit will come and anoint you do not believe that ask with your heart and when you ask you shall receive today when i am praying over you my brothers and sisters pray with your heart cry out with your heart to the lord and you will experience today a touch of the holy spirit hallelujah god wants to touch you holy spirit want to heal you he wants to deliver you hallelujah let's today our sister maria here you know she was having a problem she had a tremendous giddiness she couldn't even stand she was coming for prayers to my place intercession she couldn't even stand she had to be supported by people and then she told me i saw her sitting down and she couldn't move and then i said maria we are going to pray for you i lifted a prayer put a blessed sacrament live breast sacrament on the table i said lord we lift up to you maria in a special way have mercy upon her bring a healing to her what your problem or giddiness right now bring a healing my brother and sister believe it and uh, she was perfectly and completely healed for the glory of god hallelujah 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 my brothers and sisters our god is a merciful god he listens to our prayer when we cry out to him but we need to have that faith my god can heal me hallelujah hallelujah you have to develop that faith how do you develop the faith can anyone can tell me Huh? Through the word of, word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, read the word of God. Spend time with the word of God and your faith will grow. Then you will trust this God and God does marvelous miracles in your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Corona time I remember every single day almost during the peak of corona I used to get from all over the world the calls, at least three calls in a day. Very critical state from Canada, USA, India, and UAE. So many places I used to get calls. My brothers and sisters, I'm so happy to tell you. They were calling me from the, you know, hospital, the stage where they were not able to breathe. You know, they were, you know, gasping for breath. Such state. but my brothers and sisters i'm so happy to tell you 
the most of the people who called me that moment i prayed i did not go to the hospitals and pray that moment but uh, i was praying on you know thanks prayer the holy spirit prayer upon them you know the and almost all of them have recovered and completely blessed by the lord hallelujah 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 i want to give every glory to god why i'm giving this testimony is today i have little time otherwise after my word of god i have to rush into you know uh, prayers for you but today i got little time to share these testimonies so that your faith will grow praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah it is nothing got to do with me yes but it is the healing is only done by the lord hallelujah hallelujah so every glory every praise every honor should go to jesus shall we give a big hand to the lord hallelujah 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 now lift your hands and start praising the lord hallelujah ula mama mama hala mashila lift your hearts lift your heart. you know voices to the lord as you are praying you can experience the healing touch of the lord ula mama mama hala mashila la 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 papa hala mashila ula mama mama hala mashila la 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 papa papa hala mashila jesus jesus call upon the name of jesus that the power in the name of jesus Let's worship the Lord with a beautiful hymn, my brothers and sisters. We make a new year in this place.
and about your people. Right now your power is moving upon your people. Jesus, Jesus, we call upon your name, Lord. We call upon your mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is the time I lift it. Reflect upon the love of God, my brothers and sisters. The Lord says, Isaiah 54, 10, I hope even the mountains may go away, hills may totter. But my everlasting love will never leave. My covenant of peace will always be with you. What a powerful word, my brothers and sisters. Isaiah 43, 4, the Lord says, You are precious and honored in my sight, and I love you. Yes, my brothers and sisters, only the living God can speak to us like this. Isaiah 49, 15 and 16, the Lord speaks to us. He says, I have called your name on the palm of my hand. Even a mother may forget the baby at her breast. But I will not forget you. Because I have called your name on the palm of my hand. What a beautiful word, my brothers and sisters. You will never forget that. Hand is close to the heart. You see, my brothers and sisters, that's the love of God. Remember the time he has saved you. Remember the time you would have met with accident and he protected you. Remember the time you were driving your car or walking up the road. Any vehicle would have hit you. Any disaster would have taken your life or could have hurt you. But God did not allow that to happen. That's why Hail and hearty, you are here today. Hallelujah. 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 My brothers and sisters, always reflect on the good things God has done in your life. Always reflect and thank Him. Because our God wants a grateful heart. Psalm 50 23, the Lord says. A thanksgiving heart. A grateful heart. I will not reject. And thanksgiving heart. Honors me the Lord says. My brothers and sisters. A thanksgiving heart. Honors God. Today you be. Grateful to him. Do not be like those. Nine lepers. Who came to Jesus for a healing. None of them remember Jesus again. Neither they made any effort to come back and say a word of thanks to him. But that tenth one, the Samaritan. Lepro came back. Fell at his feet. I said, thank you Lord. Then Jesus said. I healed all ten of you. Where are the other nine? Where are the other nine? I and you should not be in the other nine, my brothers and sisters. I and you should be in the one that Samaritan, a foreigner who came back to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 My brothers and sisters, that is why let us give their heart to Jesus today. Let's all lift our hands and praise him and thank him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is touching you and healing you right now. The power of God is moving here. Do not, do not think nothing is happening. God is touching you and healing you. Lord, you're touching your people right now. You're healing them. You're healing the hearts. You're healing the minds. You are healing the bodies. Right now, your power is moving upon them. Hallelujah. 
This is the time. Let's remember the love of God. I sing this beautiful repentance in my brothers and sisters. And let us come back to Jesus with this beautiful hymn. Before that, let's say a small prayer, you know, of repentance from our heart. You know, maybe we have offended Jesus. You know, we have gone against Jesus many a times. You know, we are rebelled against his word. You know, this is the time. Let's come back to him with a repentant heart and say it after me. Repeat after me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I am a miserable sinner. I am unworthy to stand in your holy presence. Forgive me, Lord Jesus. Wash me with your precious blood and sanctify me. Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart. That you are my Lord. That you are my Savior. Set forth your Holy Spirit upon me and change my life. Let me not be the same again. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, you're touching your people. Let's sing this beautiful, my brother's song, my brothers and sisters. And repent for our sins, surrender to Jesus at the cross. Lift your voices, lift your voices and praise God. I'm going to pray for your healing now. I'm going to pray for your healing right now. Healing. All those who are having the eye related problem, maybe you are having an eye related problem, maybe you are having a sight problem. Maybe you're having a pain in the eyes. Right now, the Lord is touching your eyes. Maybe you're having a ear related problem. Right? Maybe you have got a pain in your ears. Or you're having a, anything, a deafness in your eyes. Right now, the Lord is touching your ears and healing your ears. Lord, you are touching your people right now. Right now, the power is moving, moving, Lord. Some of you may be having a leg-related problem. Leg-related problem. You are not able to walk properly. 
Some of you are having a hand related problem. Right now your hand is paining. You are not able to lift your hands properly. There is a problem you are going through. Right now the Lord is touching your hand and healing you. You have a problem in your stomach. You are having a pain. Sometimes you have extreme pain. Right now the Lord is touching your stomach and healing you. He is healing your liver. He is healing your digestion system. Right now. Make the promises. Make the promises. Say Jesus this is for me. If you have your problem. Right now, those are having a heart related problem. Maybe you are having a blockage. Right now, the arteries are blocked. Right now, the Lord is releasing the arteries. He is healing you. All the heart related problems be healed in the name of Jesus. You have a urine infections and anything with the urine related problem. Right now the Lord is touching you and healing you. Claim the promise. If you are having this and Jesus, this healing for me. And believe. When you say that, believe. Maybe you are having a cholesterol problem. Right now the Lord is touching you and healing your cholesterol. Or any other problem you may be going through. Right now the Lord is touching you and healing you and delivering you. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord for healing touch. Now let's sing a beautiful hymn and the Holy Spirit come with your fire.
Shall we sing the last in my presence sit and rejoice in the Lord? Hallelujah. Let's all rejoice and clapping hands. We are a new creation today. You're in the grace of God.